Ms. Thompson, you are summoning Mr. McKinley to court to prove to him and his wife that he fathered your six-month-old son, Legend. You say his wife is petty and she is the cause of his paternity denial. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. McKinley, you admit that Ms. Thompson was an affair gone wrong, and you say Ms. Thompson needs to leave you and your wife of 17 years alone and find her baby's father. Is that yes, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Now, Ms. Thompson, how did you end up in a relationship with a married man? Okay, I ended up in a relationship with Terrell, and I wouldn't consider it a relationship. I would consider it friends with benefits. I was on Facebook and he was always liking my pictures. He was commenting on my pictures. He was always trying to get attention to be noticed. Wait, One so day, excuse me, I'll let you talk. One day, uh, anyway. yeah, okay, anyway. One day, I finally gave him a chance because he was real thirsty. And I gave him a chance because I was like, okay, I want to go yeah, out I'm... on a date. That's so a lie. Make a, I haven't <laughs> even started talking, so they're, I'm gonna let them hang themselves. So let, they let her get this story out, then I'm gonna you know, come I'm gonna be let Mr. Kinley. I wanna hear your wrong. side. Cause like I said, I'm 25 and I'm just trying to tell you the story cause you asked me. So I chose him to go out with, obviously because he was always giving me nice notes because I wouldn't be here today or we wouldn't even be asking if he was my baby. So yeah, he was it's attracted so to game. me. And she thought she just went So to make well. a long story short, I dated him, we had rap in common, cause I rap, you know, when I write music, I sing. I took him to the studio, we spit some bars. Make a long story short, we ended up dating, having um, encount sexual encounters. We protected ourselves majority of the time. I had been drinking and we had me right, messed yeah. around. I wasn't sober enough to make the right decisions and he knew that. That's a lie. So he took That's advantage of that. That's a lie. Okay, Not so wait a minute. Did you know he was married? He told me that he was separated. She lied. She knew, Your Honor. They That's weren't lie. together. She, she lied. stayed in a That's shed. Lie. She lied. And he stayed in a she room lied. in a mess. She lied, Your Honor. All right. She lied. Hold she on, stayed hold in on. a shed. Wait. Your Honor, she lied. Okay, I went on his Facebook. She's always posting new and pictures mine, and this and that in her in his because mine, I went in her. Hobby. Hold right. on, I went. Wait, wait. I went my in her his look, pocket man. and I saw wait, what she, she had to make a face. Okay, okay, let me hear look, what they're look, saying. Yeah. Let me hear what they're saying, right. Ms. Thompson. This how it go. <laughs> From my knowledge, I post a picture of me leaving the studio. Miss Thompson got in my DM. When you gonna bring me to the studio? I said, well, I don't know. Do you rap? She like, yeah, she rap. can't even rap. I said, well, okay. You can barely talk. I live there and bring you today. You know what? So look, later, mm -hmm. later on no, that I day, don't. later on that day, I'm I ain't went. To judge. Then the next day, okay. she got in my inbox. I thought you were gonna bring me to the studio. She I said, didn't play her role. She was a side chick. A okay? Side chick. I'm a, they, I, was I didn't have to stick so around with him, Your Honor. I they were separated. So listen, listen, but, hold on. That's interesting right. testimony, Mr. McKinley. And I want some answers. Go ahead. Let's talk one at a time. Let's talk one at a time. So out of the blue, she just sends you a message and says, when are you going to take me to the studio? Yeah, to the and studio. you don't know who this girl is. No, nah, I just knew she was one of my friends on Facebook. I could have been a plot she skinned on from day one because I always had her on He Facebook. worked at the Goodwill. Why she would I want him? He worked at the donation thing before Yana, he got hired. Why would I want him? Right. And he's two decades older than me. Y'all right, are two decades older time. than me. Don't play with me. Right, okay. Ms. McKinley, yes, I want to know from you, how did you find out about all this? I, okay, ma'am, one of the girls up there told me that my husband have a young girl in the room. So I knew I had a picture how the girl looked. So I went over myself, knocked on the door. He asked who was it. I didn't answer. So he opened the door. I went in there. She laying under the, in the bed, under the cover. Whose house was this? I took the cover off Who's her head. This? And I'm like asking him, what's going on? He's like, what are we doing music? Sit down. I'm like, no, I won't sit down. You doing already... music in yeah, the bed yeah. under the no, cover? I have my yeah. phone. I have my phone. Y'all know. He was Wait, doing music. Was he wasn't having you. You asked me. And that's how I found out. I had an idea it was her. Because she always, I read his Facebook. They on there flirting with each other on Facebook. So... I'm like, okay, I just had to put a picture to the face. Your Honor, oh, since I was having an affair, like they said, how is it that me and him ended up going to New Orleans and I met his entire family? Because how you is it homeless. that he was able to take me to his daughter, you his homeless. father? You were going places? I went to New Orleans with him. Regardless of, yeah, yeah I had a struggle. I was struggling. 
And I was, I had somewhere to go, but if he want, I went, I was with him, so I went with him. When we went to New Orleans, he, he introduced me to his family, his sister, his cousins. I went swimming. I'm talking about, it's like I'm his girlfriend, you know? But in my mind, I'm like, okay, this man too old for me. Wait, but at but the time, it's fun right now, because I'm young and I'm having fun and I'm enjoying his company. That's it. So I went to Tulane mm -hmm. Hospital because I wasn't feeling good. He took me. I told him that I was expecting. I did not say it was his. I told him that I was expecting because I'm a woman. I'm a own up to my crap. So I said, okay, it's a chance that this might not be your child. All right. He was upset. He got in his feelings. This man is lying. Look at me. He was all up in my face. He spent money on me. He let me drive his car. And he didn't have no money for me, but at the same I time, did. it was... At the same time, I had fun enjoying oh, his company. Oh, so you went all and the way to New no man with no but, money? He loves this child, and I know he does. But this woman here is she not going to let him love this say. child because she's telling you about my Facebook. My Facebook is private. She's been saying that I'm childish. Yeah, I'm upset. That's my baby right there. I love my child. I take care of him. Man. I have been going through hell because all I want him to do is be a father. I have let them see my right. child. They have took pictures yeah. with my child. Man. Now they're on the courthouse saying that, oh, I don't think that's my baby. That ain't my baby. That's not true. They have been around. I let her around. I don't want your man. For one, he too old for me. He ain't even attractive to me. He was just, uh, at the time, he was just something to do. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let me tell you something. I called him in the hospital on the second day because I looked at my child and I said, dang, man, I'm going to own up to that. I did not want him to be the father, but my child sure do got a lot of features. This evidence shows that he has a stag toe. Like, it, he grew into it, but when he was born, it's genetic things. I asked Terrell about my son. I told him about it. Oh, yeah, that's me. So if that ain't your baby, take your shoe off. Let me see that. your toes. You want to see my yeah, toes? Yeah, let me see. Take them off. You got on... Did you put on socks today? So you say... <laughs> The overlapping of toes, did stacked not come toe, from me. And it didn't come from you. He admitted that he had stacked toes. It up. affects an estimated 10% of the population, and it's more than likely that heredity plays a part. And then when children and infants have overlapping toes, it's usually the case that one or both parents have the same condition. Do you have an overlapping no, toe, Mr. McKinley? No. Take your I shoe got off. One toe now, Prove my big toe too long. That's the only thing wrong with Something my wrong toe. with it. Ain't nothing wrong with my toes. And I have this evidence. I'd like to see we your evidence. We got this about three months ago. Yeah, come on. Through it's a text is, telling my husband, the, oh, this legend dad right legend here. That's legend dad right there. This evidence. Yes, ma'am. Is a picture you said yes, you saw. Yana. Where? Um, she sent it she to She sent it to, to me. Terrell phone. She it's still in his phone. Mad. As a matter of fact, it's still in, her yeah, in his mad. phone. So you got a text, mm -hmm. and it was this picture, and the caption was Saying Legend's, Legend's real, father. real Father. Yes, yes. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. I have nothing to hide. I did not say that. You can go ahead and prove it. So go how do you phone, think they got do. this text if it didn't come from you? This woman made a fake page. I have my page private. That's how I know it got to be an app, because I Oh, you're saying it. they made this. They you know, created this. They made it up, because she got... She made up a whole fake page. So... All of this that they doing is to make me look bad, but I'm really upset because I could care less if he in his life or not. I just want to know who the father is so I can get the help that I need because I'm yeah, struggling with my see, child. Yeah. If you want to meet her, that's fine. But Wait. she don't got to tag along your coattail just to go see your child. Screw I didn't have sex with her. I don't mind her coming you sometimes. You're not to be trusted at your house. But she thinks that we are sleeping together. Uh -huh. I don't want him. This is not about legend. This is about yes, her it with is. my husband. It's about she my child. She calls me on my phone. She calls me and my husband. We let it go to verse mail. Object. She called us. I got verse mail. I got text messages. I think she, she should be more mature than that. Wow. and taking consideration that stuff happens and she doesn't need to be a pain in my behind. Let me ask you one question. Have you ever been married? No, I've not been married. Okay. That then doesn't... That, whatever that, no, no, no. That, that, that's that's all I want to know. All right, that's all I want to know. Because, right. because I can understand now why your perspective is so one-sided and you don't understand. I'm accepting your mouthing off because I know it comes from a place of hurt because I can see you. It's just yabba, 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 yabba. And I'm trying to re... I'm trying to refrain from beating you down because the truth is you are a young girl. You stand here now and it's, I don't want him, I don't want him. I you slept with him. You knew he didn't work, have no money. You knew he worked at the Goodwill. You knew he had a wife. And you knew he didn't have you anything. No, no, hold on. I let you talk all day. Now I'm going to talk. You knew all this about this man. And I'm not saying he's right because he's wrong as the day is long. He but what knowledge. I'm saying to you is that as you speak, at first I wanted you to get the chip off your shoulder because I thought maybe after you got it off, we could get to really who you are mm -hmm. and how this happened. 
I All in my mind as I'm me. saying is, what are we going to do? I did. Like, expect how do we do me. that? Of course you did. I made a mistake. Of course you did. Now, if you all are trying to see the child, that's what I want to get to next. Legends born. You say you want to be a part of Legends life yes. until you figure out if, in fact, it's your biological child. Yes. You're I... attempting to do that. Ms. Thompson saying every time they come, you, the wife has to come. I realize yes. what that's rooted in. It's insecurity. What, what, the, what, what in the world's going to be going on when she go over there? So I, I get all that. How often have you seen Legends? Three times. Right. In six months, three times. Before I left New Orleans to return back to Dallas, I called Miss Thompson. How we gonna handle this? I say the same way you like, you don't trust Legend around my wife, my wife don't trust me around you. But that still should not involve Legend in the middle of this fight. I say like right now, you say you don't want me, well, what the problem you have with my wife being with me? You know what I mean? It's about Legend. I want a deal. DNA test because the because you're saying, and she's admitted in court today, that this child may or may not be your biological That's child. That's what I'm saying. That probably is the most sense you've made today. And it didn't make no sense but, to me because it was not I, of true. Of course it didn't, Miss Tom. It wasn't of true. Of course it, it was not true. I, you don't I, have I, to feel sorry for I me because do. God I has do. been blessing me oh, yes. and my children. And Listen. I have been taking care of them. I put a roof over their head and I don't have to explain it. You do not know me, but you're looking pit you're looking at me pitiful like you feel sorry for me. Don't feel I sorry do. for me. And I have this anger built up because he does not take care of his child. So if he doesn't or does... I'm going to take care of him anyway, and he's still happy. I'm so glad we're here every day, Ron. That's all I can say. <laughs> Me too. I'm so glad I'm we're glad here God every day. I'm glad I woke up this morning really to be am. here. I'm sorry, honey. I'm what glad that I was woke up this morning to be here. Absolutely. I'm glad that I had the Absolutely. opportunity to speak my mind. Right. Right. You got your moment to be able to say what you need to say. That's what this moment is. I feel better. Listen. <laughs> Not, not, Christo! <laughs> Miss Thompson, don't miss your moments in life. I won't. Don't let hurt, anger, frustration, you get bitter, your teeth so clenched, you just, ugh, like, it was like your head was gonna pop off. Yeah, I, I was upset. I could see. And that's lie. why I just brought it down. Because I knew there was another you in there somewhere. I'm not gonna cry my makeup pretty. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I want to, but I'm you, not. You do look pretty. You do. <laughs> you, you're, you're a pretty girl. You're a young girl. You have dreams for your life. Look, when you get so hard sometimes and you get so angry, you can't let anything in. Yeah. You're trying to keep the bad out, but sometimes you can't let the good in. I just get overwhelmed because being a single mom and doing the right thing, going without to make sure that they have, which I do, and most women my age don't, it's overwhelming. And especially to have extra drama. And all you got to do is take care of this child and wait till the results come. You didn't have to do all of this. And but I was willing to come and I'm getting it taken care of. So I'm... Yes! It. It's... You got in the situation, okay? You and Mr. McKinley got in a situation. Yes. Like I said, he ain't off the hook, but I'm more concerned with you because he's got support. Hey, look, yeah. So when you think I was focusing on you because I was most angry or I thought you were most at fault, mm -hmm. no, I'm focusing on you because you stand there by yourself. Mm -hmm. And I thank you for understanding. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here. <laughs> All right. Are we ready for the results? I wanted to, I wanted to say something. I had made a, a rap about the whole situation. Oh! I wanted to see if I can express that with no interruptions. Can you hold somebody she... in contempt? Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Thompson has the courtroom. Let me tell you a little something about me. Pretty Mac Kool Aid Solo grinding one deep. I met him on Facebook. He inboxed me. Trying to see if he could take me out to eat. I'm knowing this dude want to get in them sheets. I'm from Triple D, so I'm so discreet. Make the dude say he want to marry me. I don't got time. I'm on my grind. Money, money, money. That's on my mind. He got me pregnant. Stuff got hectic. I got on that phone and start talking reckless. I can't help it. I be stressing. But my kids, yeah, they a blessing. And that's it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Very good. Excuse me, Yana, can I say something? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I ain't trying to rap. I just want to talk about No, something. I heard what you had to say, and I'm not cutting you off because I don't want you to have your time. I'm cutting you off because your last statement had you right in the place where I feel like we can make progress. So I'm holding you there. The envelope, please, Ron. Yes, ma'am.
In the case of Thompson versus McKinley, when it comes to six-month-old legend, it has been determined by this court. Mr. McKinley, you are the father. And he's a handsome young, he's a handsome baby. He get compliments all the time, so. He is beautiful. In the spirit of that beauty and that innocence, let's go forward better than we have before. I don't want drama. I, I never did want drama. It just hurt me when I asked for something and they don't do it. I wish I had little boxes and I could wrap it up for you all, put a bow on it and send you out. Like, life is perfect now. But no, that takes work. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take you all to stay in this place. I see tears in your eyes, Mr. McKinley. Yes, because I've been mm -hmm. wanting to be a pulp, but she limited that. Well, we're not with... talking about that. I did. <laughs> we're not talking about that. You see what I'm saying? Don't go back. Yeah, they go fall. We and know there know were how. issues. If you want Don't to them, you go can. back. Look, she has given this young man a very strong name. Legend. This child has got to live up to his name. Yes. You all don't have any time for this pettiness, this bickering back and forth. Miss Parker, your relationship is on the verge of ending. Yes, Your Honor. You're summoning your boyfriend, Mr. Brown, for paternity test to prove that he is your six-month-old son, Malachi's father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Brown, you say you stepped up when Malachi was born, but began to have paternity doubts because of Miss Parker's scandalous behavior. Yes, Your Honor. In addition to the paternity test, you've countersued for a lie detector test to prove the extent of her cheating. Yes, Your Honor. All right, so Mr. Brown, clearly, you're in court because you have no trust for Miss Parker. Explain. Well, when we first started, Your Honor, the relationship was good. Um, we loved each other very much. Then later on, it just she just started doing things. I remember one time uh, later on in the relationship, um, I called her. She I couldn't I couldn't get in contact with her. I called her parents. They I don't know she. I called her dad. He was at work. I don't know where she at. Um, Wait, you had a relationship and it was going well, and then she disappeared. It, yeah, just one day I decided to call, and she was, and I was like. Yeah. She Did you disappear, Miss Parker? Your Honor, I object. I You're was... right. <laughs> Your Honor, I object. I feel like that I was, um, I need to be fr um, free because at the end of the day... Free? I, I wasn't doing anything. What you mean? What I be stuck mean? with the baby 24 7, honey, because at the... Oh, but I have to go to work and do stuff, so I'm supposed to be You don't go to work. Right, hold, on, job. hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on now. I want to understand, Miss Parker, Mr. Brown said you all were in a relationship and it was Correct. going well. Yes, Your Honor. You were happy. Yes, Your Honor. Is that true? Yes, Your Honor. And then all of a sudden, he says, one day he calls you and nobody could find you. Right. Where, did that happen? I, I was with my friend. He would not let me have no friends. I didn't let you have no friends. He won't let oh me have God. no friends. I cannot even step out my friends and go have a dinner with. It's, it'll be, have it'll a, dinner, be a girl. Really. Mm -hmm. So are you saying you got to a point in the relationship where you felt smothered? Well, I felt like I couldn't go nowhere. Well, I felt like I just stuck in the house 24-7. He just want to lay up under me and I cannot what? go anywhere. Are you serious? Yes, no. Your Honor. No. Mr. Brown, you thought she was out with another man during this time? I don't know what she was doing. She never told me anything. I call, no answer. I text, no answer. Call people, call parents. No one knows you call she who? Who? I'm not sure where she was. So she you never didn't know me. where you, you just didn't know where she was? Mm-mm. You wanted to know where? Just, just, just as a precaution, just in case something happened. Did I, you trust I, I, her at that time? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I trust her, but it's yeah. just... Your Honor, I feel like So, he's if you're in a relationship with somebody and you're... Was it a committed relationship? Yes. yes. So, Miss Parker, why do you get missing without I, saying, hey, babe, I'm, you know, over here? Because I feel like he's insecure because, like, I feel like he don't... Insecure about he what? He would not let me go anywhere, Your Honor. I always have to be stuck in the house 24-7. I didn't say you have to be like, stuck in the house, but I, at least like, you can take the baby he... some of the time. So, wait. So, bottom line is, you're in a relationship, it's going well. Mm -hmm. Then you have a period of time where you feel like you're smothered, you gotta get out, and you get missing, and he doesn't know where you are. Mm -hmm. But at some point, it comes back together because you get pregnant. Right. Yes, Tell me about that. Well, Your Honor, I got pregnant around his 25th birthday, and, and I told him I was pregnant. 
He said he didn't believe because it was a dollar pregnancy test. So I went yeah, to Grady went Memorial down. Hospital and I confirmed I was pregnant. So I called him on the phone. He had a few minutes to talk. So after we talked about it, we talked about getting married, Your Honor. We talked about having other kids in the future. At the end of the day, I feel like he's insecure. He won't trust me. Trust you, Wait, hold on, hold on. Shoot. So wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you find out you're pregnant, you take a test, he yes. says, that's from the dollar store, I want something that I can feel like yes. I can hang my hat he was excited when so I So you go to the hospital, mm -hmm. you have a test, it is confirmed you're pregnant. Correct. And Mr. Brown, when she told you she was in fact pregnant, after she went to the doctor, were you happy about it? I was happy. You were? Yeah. At that moment in time, did you think that is my child? Yes. Even though you had had the period of time where she got missing and you didn't trust her, you felt in that moment, I feel secure this is my child. Mm-hmm. So now, when did it change? I mean, when did you start having doubts? She kept... After the baby was born, she kept, she kept doing it. She kept leaving. So you were with her while the baby was born? I was in the delivery room. Did you sign born. the birth certificate? I didn't sign the birth certificate. Did you have a doubt? Yes, a 50% doubt. Because... That's a big one. Yes. So you couldn't bring yourself to sign the birth certificate because you knew you had a doubt? Yes. What was that doubt based on? The, the dates, they're not adding up. It, you said the dates are not adding up? Mm -mm. What about the dates didn't add up? Well, like she said, we, she got pregnant during June. The baby was born in January. Hold on, let me get my calendar. Let me understand this. All right, so when was Malachi born? He was born January 5th. January the 5th, all right. Yeah. So, baby born. And take me back, you said, what about this this time of this birth didn't add up to you? I did research, um, and I found out that full-term pregnancy is between 39 and 40 weeks. And if you got pregnant in June, the baby should have been born probably in February. So you guys met when? We June met... First. June 1st. Mm -hmm. Yes, I found out I was pregnant June 4th on his birthday. So you met on June the 1st. Correct. And you found out you were pregnant on June the 4th? Yes. Oh, yeah, but you wasn't doing so anything. So, one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven. My baby was premature. He, because I had heart problems and I have heart, high blood pressure, Your Honor. And I have evidence right here, if you want to see, because my baby, he was small. Mom, will you hand that to me, please? And you can see as in his weight, so this evidence is copies of your hospital discharge papers. Correct, Your Honor. It I says mm -hmm. that Malachi was born at 1,730 grams, which is 3.8 pounds. Correct. So premature indeed. Mm-hmm. So your testimony is that he was born early. Yes, very Ernest. early. Yes, he was born okay, very that, early. Okay, that, that still doesn't matter about the dates because he was born early? What you mean? Yes, it does. I had high blood pressure okay. and I had heart but, problems. Uh, okay, but okay, still, what? still, You understand still. what it means to be premature, right? Mm -hmm. The dates doesn't matter. You're still the father. The dates don't matter. What you mean it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. He's, he is talking about now his doubt. He's saying you met on the first and you was pregnant on the fourth. Mm-hmm. Were you intimate One, with two, any three, other men around oh, that time? I was pregnant, yeah. yeah. Yes, Your Honor, but that was at the beginning of May. Okay, let me go back to my calendar. So, in the beginning of May, you had another guy. Guy number two. Yeah, huh? the guy that, that you came to the house to. while we was together. Mm-hmm. You're admitting that in the month... I told Mr. Brown... The month Brown. right before Correct. you met Mr. Brown, Correct. you were also intimate with yes, another... I was honest with Mr. Brown from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I told Mr. Brown that it could yeah. possibly be the other man baby. But, possibly. unfortunately, Mr. But it's Brown... Mine, though, now. Mr. Brown... I know it's Mr. Brown because he's been there since day one. You know it's Mr. Brown's baby because you were having sex since Correct. the day you met. But yeah. isn't it also true, Ms. Parker, that if you were intimate with another man around I... that time, that it could potentially be his baby as well? Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, the court got my back. No, Your Honor. I feel like it is Mr. Brown, um, baby. Because look at the resemblance. What you feel... Right. ...and what you know... Mm-hmm. ...two completely different things. 
you had sex with another man right. the mm. month, right, the previous month, right? That previous and month. That, and that relationship lasted until you no, met Mr. It, Brown? It really wasn't lasted. It was on and off. We just, like, probably, like, I'd probably say, like, a three-day. That's it. Three oh, days? More than three days. And then when you, you're saying when you met Mr. Brown, you were exclusively with him. I was exclusively with him. I wasn't with nobody. I ain't cheated on Mr. Brown. I was with Mr. Brown for one whole year. And yeah, never what about the days that you was him. going out when I told you, no, don't go somewhere? Okay, but that doesn't mean I was um, having... In a, in well, a how do I know somebody. that? What you mean, how do you know that? You don't know that. My point is actually, <laughs> I don't know that. Whatever. That's a, well, I don't know And that. so, Mr. Brown, that's why you're asking for a lie detector test as well, because yes. at this point, you feel like you can't believe anything that comes out of her mouth. Yes, Your Honor. I can tell. Ms. Parker, I, I'm ready to hear from your witness now. Sir, okay. please stand. Step up to the podium. State your name, please, sir. My name is Larry Parker III. I am her brother. All right, thank you for joining us today, Mr. Parker. What do you know about this situation? I know the situation is obvious that he has trust issues, he has insecurity problems. Obviously, a blind man can see that that's really? his child. I mean, look at look at the baby, look at him. I mean, it's just crazy. Like, we shouldn't... I don't even know why we're here today. Yeah, why are you here? Why are you here? I mean, I mean, obviously, you know, you know that's your baby. He no got my, my hairline. My got... straight. He is like an arrow. All right, what do you mean? Hold on. That don't Miss Parker, Mr. Brown. I mean, I mean, obviously, you know, you know that's your baby. It's, it's time to step up. Be a man. Damn, I mean, I do, do what you have to do for your child. It's time, it's time to do something right. I am doing what I do for my child. What do you do? What do you do? I'm there you all the time. Something. Yes. Buy something. I do Be buy a stuff. man. Be a man. It's time to step up. It's time to step up, Mr. Brown. Hold on, Mr. Parker. It's time to step up. Mr. Parker. Yes, ma'am. Besides what you believe is a resemblance between the baby and Mr. Brown, what else do you know about this situation that would she add to the testimony previously given by your sister. She has been with this man since day one. I have never seen her with anybody else. I have yeah, because you don't her. be there. I you am probably, talking. You, I have never you seen... Probably, I have I never seen her... One at a time, sister. gentlemen. One at a time. I have never seen her with anybody else. I have never seen her act like this. She is in love with this man. She has been thriving and being everywhere with this man. And, and for him to just put out there, you must be doing something. And it's time for him to just step up and be a man and just say, okay, that's my baby. I'm going to be a father and, 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 and I'm going to do everything for him. It's time to work. I just brought the baby on. Thank what you very much, you Mr. Bought? Parker. You may be seated. Thank you for yes, your testimony. So, Ms. Parker, ultimately you're saying that this is pretty much destroying your relationship. Yes, Your Honor. Explain. Yes. Because he's insecure. He always claiming that I'm cheating. I'm always out with well, another guy. Well, why are you always running away? I'm talking. He always claims that I'm with away. another guy when I'm not. When I could just when I'm with my friends. But you, when you run off and then just leave the baby at home with your parents and be gone for a day and just don't tell him where you're going. So, Mr. Yeah, Brown, you off. feel like this entire time you've all been in a relationship, she's been entertaining other men as well. Yes. Your spidey yeah, sense is always on as it relates to her. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. And, Ms. Parker, you admit that I do get missing. Right, I do. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I be with my friend. How do I know that you want to tell I'm with me that another you're guy. He's insecure. I don't know what he's doing. When he's at home, he not taking But ultimately, me this is oh, turning your relationship you apart. <laughs> yes, it is. And it's affecting... Malachi's life Correct. as well. Yes, Your Honor. Because Mr. Brown doesn't know for certain whether or not he's the child's father. Yes, I just want to be a family with him. I, I just want to, you know, I love him. I love him to death. But he's just this insecurity. If you just tell him where you're going, then I wouldn't have no, no I reason always of tell cheating. him, Your Honor, when I come back. Well, I come, oh, I when you come tell back. Him. Not when you're going. It's a difference in coming back and going. No, it's not. <laughs> so, Mr. Go Brown. On, coming back. Mr. Brown you an obvious question. If you haven't been able to trust this woman, you don't know if Malachi is your child, do you really want to be in this relationship or not? I love her to death. I, I, I mean, I love her more than any other girl I've ever been with. And I love that baby, like, mm -hmm. from my heart. What are you feeling? <laughs> I'm in. I mean, whether he's not or is the father, I feel like I still want to sign the birth certificate because he been there since day one. And, you know, he's the only man, like, I love. And, like, I don't want to be with nobody else but him. Like, Malachi, he's the only face he's seen. Like, he ain't seen no other guy. And I don't know, like, 
I don't want to interfere with their relationship and their bond. Are you both ready to have the results now? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Jerome, the envelope, please. Thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Parker versus Brown, pertaining to six-month-old Malachi Parker, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Brown. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Brown. You are not Malachi's father. I'm sorry for you both. I know you wanted a different result. I'm gonna give you both a moment to compose yourselves and then I'm going to meet you in my chambers and I will give you the results of the lie detector test, okay? Okay. Court is adjourned. <laughs> Mr. Brown, Ms. Parker, I have the results of the lie detector test here. Are you ready for them? Yes, sir. Okay. Ms. Parker, you were asked if during your relationship with Mr. Brown, have you had any type of sexual contact with another man? You said no. The lie detector determined that was the truth. So, in fact, her testimony that she had never cheated on you during the relationship was, in fact, true. Ms. Parker, I have to ask you, do you know who baby Malachi's father is? Yes. So, Mr. Slaughter was not able to be in court today. However, the court was able to locate him and ask him a couple of questions. The first question we asked Mr. Slaughter was, what was the nature of your relationship with Ms. Johnson and how did you find out about Damien? We met through a mutual friend. I know it was, might have been sometime in the early 90s. Um, we kind of lost track of, of each other after you know, our, our relations and then I seen her later on in life. Well, Ms. Johnson told me possibly about two years ago that I might be a possible father for Mr. Johnson and my first reaction to that situation was like, ah, I don't think so. Um, I mean, he doesn't look anything like me, and why would you wait till he's a grown man to tell me that I might be a possible father when all this time you've known me and we've been friends and it never came up before? That's not true. Why is that? Because it wasn't two years ago that I had got in contact with him about this. When was it? Um, back when he was 13. So your testimony is at the point you realized that man number two was not Damien's biological father. You basically started calling everybody. You admittedly were sleeping with Absolutely. multiple men. You said you were fast. Mm -hmm. And you said you were sleeping around. So you just said, you know what? I'm fanning out and I'm telling everybody I was having sex with, you could potentially be my son's biological yes, father. Yes, because we didn't end up following through with it back then. And that's why we're here today. We didn't have the money. Like, my mom was doing everything by herself. No, nobody else wanted to step up and help my mom out, you know? It's ridiculous. Like, I may be 22 now, just like everybody else. Everybody else wants to know who their dad is. I want to know who my dad is. It just shouldn't matter because I'm 22. It shouldn't matter if I'm 13, 6, or 7. My mom's being a mom, and she's trying to figure this out. So these men just need to step up and help her out. She can't do it by herself. She can't. It's, it, it's impossible. She didn't make me by herself. You are correct, young man. And because of that, this court also asked Mr. Slaughter, if you're proven to be Mr. Johnson's father, what are your hopes for the future? This is how he responded. If I am proven to be Mr. Johnson's father, um, I'm gonna definitely, you know, be a good role model to him, uh, a mentor, do all the type of stuff that a dad is supposed to do for a up-and-coming young man. I know it's very important for um, a young man to have a father in his life, and it's never too late. 
How does that make you feel when he says he would like to be there for you? He would like to be a father. It's, it feels good knowing that somebody is willing to step up and be there, you know, if they are my dad, you know? It, like, it'd just be nice to know who my dad is. Just be able to call him my dad. Of like. course it would. <laughs> And I want you to understand that every person has that desire. And that's why we do this for you. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Johnson, you know, your son, when he speaks, I can see how emotional it makes you. Yeah. Is there anything you want to say to your son? He is such an amazing young man. He is. And I love him so much. I love you too, Mom. There, he... He excels at everything he does. He's amazing. And people are missing out. And it's not fair at all to any of them. I feel in my heart that he's Damien's. Right. And it, that would be his only, the only one to carry on his name. And that's why the stakes are so high. Absolutely. Because that's, 22 years of her son, her brother, that they missed out on. Well, yes, but they missed out on it, Ms. Johnson, and I want to say this to you respectfully because what I appreciate about you is that you came in and said, no, you know, I was, I was fast. This I is was. what I was doing. And what we know now is to this point, we have five potential fathers. There's another one. Oh. <laughs> Yes. You said there's another one. Yes. Mm-hmm. So that is... Man, Missy. Potential father number six. Yes. And who is this man? Mr. Harmon. So tell me about your relationship with potential father number six, Mr. Harmon. There wasn't one. We hung out a couple times and had a couple sexual encounters and that was it. There was not, nothing whatsoever. So this other was than just, just sex? Hap, yes. But it was unprotected. Yep. Which is why you say he could potentially be Damien's biological father. Right. Well, Mr. Harmon is here. And we'd like to hear from him. Jerome, will you please escort Mr. Harmon into the courtroom? Yes. <laughs> Maybe come up here right on the left-hand side. Mr. Harmon, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. We have a, an incredible young man here who deserves to know who his father is. And his mother, Ms. Johnson, has indicated to this courtroom that she was involved in a sexual relationship with you and yep. that you are one of six potential fathers. When is the first time you heard Damien could potentially be your biological son? Four weeks ago. Just four weeks ago? Four weeks. So Miss Miss Johnson reached out to you? Well, we're, we're friends. We're still friends. Oh, wow. So you have been friends? Yes. And you've seen Damien? Yes. Been around him? Yes. But you never knew... No. ...he could potentially be your biological son? No, I didn't. He, I, I have other kids, but I don't think that he's mine. So, Ms. Johnson, how did you tell Mr. Harmon he could be the father? I mean, he says he knows you. you, you he's seen Damien. I'm still Damon. friends with Mr. Henley and Mr. Slaughter. We all, we all still conversate. We just never met or took the step to actually get to the bottom of it until my son reached out and said, Mom, could you please help me? I need to know where I came from. I feel I did the best that I could. As far as, I've been on my own since I was 14. I didn't have my mom nor my dad. I will say this. Your son, as he sits here, mannerable, respectful, honorable, smart. Absolutely. Well-spoken. For all you have been through and you have done and have admitted to, I do see the best parts of you in him. And that's all we can hope for as mothers and as fathers. We have not determined that yet, but that when people see our children, they see the best pieces of us. So the fact that you still were able to do this and raise this young man, it says a lot about you. 
<laughs> All right? Thank you. You know Mr. Harmon. Yes. And so when your mom told you he could potentially be your biological father, when was this? How did she tell you? Last night. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just, it's so much, it's all so much just, like, built up. It's just, like, sometimes I just don't want to think about anything, you know? I just want to box myself away, you know? So... He just said, When Mom, you say you want to box yourself away, what do you mean, honey? Like, I see, <laughs> I see the tears in your eyes. What do you mean, box yourself away? I feel like I'm not as good as everybody else because they all got dads, you know? Oh! Don't ever feel Just like break that. break my heart. Don't you ever feel like that. Do you hear me? Yes, Your Honor. Look at me. Don't you ever feel like that. <laughs> you are worth it. You are just as good. You ain't you any You are. Do you understand me? Yes, Your Honor. That's why we're here for you, because you are important and worth it. And whether we get the answer today or not, you still are worth it. <laughs> you understand me? <laughs> that just breaks my heart. My do. And that's why we do this. That is why I will do this to the day they say I can't do it no more. Because I, I don't care what it is. And I want you to know that there are people <laughs> that will go to war with you to find out the answers you need. And, honey, you will never be in this fight by yourself. You got a soldier in me. Thank you. You understand? I usually say, Jerome, I'm ready for the results, but I don't even know if I'm ready for the results today. So, Damien, I'm gonna ask you, are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Then let's do this. Jerome, the envelopes, please. <laughs> the first results relate to Mr. Harmon. In the case of Johnson versus Fortune, when it comes to 22-year-old Damien Johnson, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Harmon, you are not the father. These results pertain to Mr. Slaughter. When it comes to 22-year-old Damien Johnson, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Slaughter is not the father. Ms. Johnson, we've had two negative results, and so far, your assertion that you didn't believe these men, I would say that you do believe Mr. Ellerson is his biological father. Yes. Is still in contention. These results pertain to Mr. Henley when it comes to 22-year-old Damien Johnson, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Henley, you are not the father. Damien, are you all right, hon? Yeah. I have one more. These results pertain to the deceased Damien Ellerson, the man you believe, Ms. Johnson, is your son's biological father. 
Because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased, Damien Ellerson, we performed a DNA test with his surviving parent, Lethia Murray. These are the results. When it comes to 22-year-old Damien Johnson, it has been determined by this court. The percentage of relatedness between Miss Lethia Murray and Damien Johnson is 0.00%. You are not related. We are at the point where we have gone through six potential fathers. You have laid it all on the line, but we know now there's at least more mm -hmm. somewhere. Yes, there is. How many more? Three. Three more. Mm -hmm. Damien, just yes. take a breath, honey. Like I said, we gonna go to war for you today. That's what happens when you have people on your team. When you want to give up, we don't give up. I'm ready to give up. No. Don't you ever. No, Damien. Mm-mm. 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 Hand. Give me a hand. We're going to keep going. One foot in front of the other. We're going to do it. You're going to keep your head up because you are an incredible young man. You have come here and you have exhibited the type of character that I can only hope my son would exhibit one day. And I don't want you to feel anything about not being worth it. Yes, Your Honor. Okay? And we're going to come back at a later date, and we're going to test everybody we can test until we get the answer you need. And, Mom, I, you stood in this courtroom and said it's three. I don't care if it's 33. I want them all. I want all the names. Absolutely. <laughs>